Thank you for choosing the slim, efficient, and highly maneuverable Cushman Stock Chaser. This vehicle has been designed to operate in a warehouse or factory environment with semi-smooth floors, roads, and ramps. Cushman's goal is to design and manufacture safe utility vehicles, but the maintenance and performance of the vehicle relies largely on the operator. So we want you to take the time to understand the Cushman Stock Chaser, its equipment, and how to use it safely. Before initial use of the vehicle, make sure the batteries are fully charged. Use a dedicated 15 amp circuit for each battery circuit and do not allow other electrical devices to be plugged into the receptacle when the charger is in use. Warning: Hydrogen gas is formed when charging batteries. A 4% concentration of hydrogen gas is explosive. Do not charge batteries without adequate ventilation. Do not permit open flame or anyone to smoke in an area that is being used for charging batteries. Once the vehicle is in a well-ventilated area, park the vehicle, switch the direction selector to neutral, turn the key switch to off, and remove the key. Unwrap the charger cord located to the right of the direction selector and plug into the dedicated 15 amp AC outlet to start the charger. When the charging cycle is complete, disconnect the AC cord and rewrap the cord. The controls, meters, and switches consist of a key switch, direction selector, state of charge meter, hour meter, headlight switch, charger cord, horn button, accelerator and brake combination pedal, operator present switch, cargo bed tie-down holes, and cargo bed lock. To start the vehicle, place the key in the key switch and turn to the on position. Move the direction selector to the direction desired. Depress the operator present switch and press the accelerator pedal to start the vehicle. A warning signal will sound if the direction selector is set in reverse. Depress the toe of the pedal to accelerate and depress the heel to brake. A release of pressure engages the service brake. This vehicle contains two important safety components, the operator present switch and an accelerator and brake combination pedal. The operator present switch is the pedal located on the left. The operator present switch must be held down for the vehicle to operate. This pedal prevents the vehicle from moving when an operator is not present and also demands that both feet remain inside the vehicle at all times. This vehicle is also equipped with a combination accelerator and brake pedal. When at rest, the pedal keeps the brakes applied to prevent the vehicle from moving when parked. Applying pressure to the toe of the pedal releases the brakes and causes the vehicle to accelerate. Decreasing pressure on the toe of the pedal reduces speed but does not apply the brakes. Completely releasing the pedal activates the brakes. Applying pressure to the heel of the pedal will stop the vehicle more quickly. When leaving the vehicle unattended, release pedal completely. Move direction selector to neutral, turn the key to off, and remove the key. Always remain standing with back against backrest and hold on while the vehicle is in motion. Keep feet, legs, hands, and arms inside the vehicle at all times. It is possible for the vehicle to coast on steep hills. Speeds should be limited to no more than the maximum speed on level ground. One may limit those speeds by releasing the toe of the pedal and applying pressure to the heel of the pedal. Warning! Excessive speeds may result in severe damage to the drivetrain components or loss of control of the vehicle. Damage caused by excessive speed will not be covered under warranty. Always bring the vehicle to a complete stop before shifting the direction selector. Check the area behind the vehicle before operating in reverse. Travel directly up or down inclines. Do not travel across the face of any incline, ramp, grade, or slope. Always use extreme caution when towing the vehicle. Do not tow in excess of 12 miles per hour. The stock chaser has a turning clearance diameter of 12.4 feet and an intersecting aisle clearance of 56 inches. 
The recommended ramp grade and side tilt is 25% or 14 degrees maximum. Sudden sharp turns, unbalanced or top heavy loads can cause upset. Cargo must be secured to the platform. Note that there is a 992 pounds load capacity. This includes the operator. Avoid sudden stops and starts. Before leaving the vehicle, set the direction selector to the neutral position. Turn the key to vertical off position and remove. Many vehicles are used for a variety of tasks beyond the original intended use of the vehicle. Therefore, it is impossible to anticipate and warn against every possible combination of circumstances that may occur. No warnings can take the place of good common sense and prudent driving practices. Good common sense and prudent driving practices do more to prevent accidents and injury than all the warnings and instructions combined. The manufacturer strongly suggests that the owner-operator read this entire manual, paying particular attention to the cautions and warnings contained therein. It is further recommended that employees and other operators be encouraged to do the same.